YouTube channel today guys I'm going to be showing you how you can prepare your Nigerian meat pie so guys if you are new to my YouTube channel please subscribe press the notification button so anytime I post a new video you will be the first to be notified and also comment down below and press the like button thanks guys to my host and wonderful subscribers I want to say I love you and a big thank you to you guys so guys let's get down to business so guys here is my flour my baking flour and here is my egg I have six eggs here and here I have my sugar and here I have my sauce and this is my butter it's in room temperature I'm going to be using the stick to roll it out also I have my scissors I might use it and this I'm going to be using it to turn off the dried ingredients so yes this is my baking powder my baking powder this is my potato this is my potato you have different kinds of potato but I like to use this this potato here I have my chopped onions and here I have my pepper this is my pepper I like to use pepper for my meat pie so guys here is my carrots this is my carrot guys and here is my meat this meat is rendered you can buy the meat yourself and grind it and you can buy from the supermarket already blended so guys this is my brush i'm going to be using this brush also so guys right now placing our pot in the gas we are going to on our gas right now you allow it to get dry then you add your granite oil it depends on you the kind of granite oil you want to use my oil is very hot right now we are going to be adding the onions meanwhile when you are doing this you need to lower your gas you can see my gas is very low on a very low temperature right now then you turn turning you need to add your salt after turning you add your salt when adding your salt you also stir together stir together Now you need to add your pepper. You don't need the oil yet to be too hot before you add your pepper. Because when you add your pepper, when the oil is still very hot, you find out that the heat in the house will be too bad. So guys, this is it. Right now you add little of your black pepper. You add little of your black pepper. Then you add your mangi. This is my mangi. And also you add your curry powder to it. This is my curry. Then you are going to stay together. you have your time I hope you can have your time but I don't have time right now so I'm not going to be having time to eat so this is it guys just leave for like two minutes before you have your meat guys here is it we are going to be adding our meat to it You are going to stay together. Make sure you turn it very, very well. 
so the meats can mix with the onions and the pepper. So guys, this is it. This is my mix. So guys, right now we are going to add a little water. Guys, we are going to add. Don't need your water to be mush because you are going to add another water. So guys, this is it. You are going to cover to cook for five minutes. Five minutes. This is it. This side looks like you can see the steel oil at the top here. Is the oil on top. We are going to be adding our carrots. We're going to be adding our carrot seeds. These are carrots because we are adding the carrots first because the carrots is a little bit stronger than the potato. So right now you are going to stir together. Right now, guys, this is it. We are going to leave it. We are not adding any water right now. This is the quantity of water that was inside before you can see so guys right now we are going to leave it to cook for two minutes and after two minutes we are going to be adding our potato to it so guys this is it right now we are going to be adding our potato to it this is our potato we're going to stir it together it's Right now we are going to add water to it so the potato and the carrots can cook together. So guys, this is it. See, there's still little water inside. Still little water. So as this is cooking, guys, as this is cooking, we are going to be making the dough hearts right now. We are adding the dried them together. First and foremost, I'm going to be adding the sauce. Then, this is the baking powder. I'm using two because my flour is a little bit mush. So this is it. This is how we are going to make it. Guys, my baking powder. We are going to stir together. And also we are going to be having our sugar right now to it. Our sugar. So, guys, we are going to mix everything together. Don't forget, I'm having two kilo. Flour here, this mush. Right now, we are going to be placing our butter to it. Our butter is at the root 
some pressure. That's why it's very easy to take. Water. This is 150 grams of water. So guys, this is it. Right now it looks like uh, Gary. <laughs> this is how it looks like right now. We are going to be making a bowl, and we are, be, we are going to be placing our egg into it. This is our egg. We have six eggs here. This is it. Just uh, water. I'm going to be adding a little bit of water to it, step by step, to mix together. Sorry, guys, my table <laughs> it's clean up. So we are going to be putting everything together later. So, guys, this is it. We have the water sweets.
Now, I'm going to mash it very well. Okay guys, I think the measurements I've gotten it, I used uh, one full cup of uh, water, yeah, that's what I used. So guys, right now, we are going to come to bring them together, you can see my hands, there is nothing in my hands anymore. flour on top of your table or whatever you are using. So guys right now I'm going to be using the lime to cover so it will be soft. Yeah so it's a
I'm using this to bring the meat or the sauce together so it won't get scattered. I'm going to do that one after the other. It depends on you. Some people do place their fork on their meat by two to three times, but mine is just twice. Actually, depends on how big it is. Yeah. for having this is just for it to bring out the beauty for it to get shiny this, this is my meat pie is ready in the oven it's ready to be eaten this is my Nigerian meat pie ready to be eaten so guys, here is my meat pie, the one I punched with my fingers and this is the one I, I used the fork for, you can see the differences, you can see the differences here. So guys, if you find my video interesting, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, my name is your humble girl, Nana Sandra, comment down below, press the notification button so anytime I post a new video, you will be the first to be notified guys. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.